Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Indian Dev. My name is Ayush and I am Nishan. So in today's video, we are going to cover the polyfill of MAP. So this is the third video in this series of polyfill. Initially, on the first video, we have discussed that what is polyfill. In the second video, with the polyfill of filter. Now it is the it is the MAP method of array. And yeah, without any delay, we can get into the video. But before that, if you guys are new to this the Indian Dev channel, then please consider subscribing to this channel. And yeah, now we can simply jump on to the map functionality. In the last video, we have discussed that before defining any of the polyfill, we need to we need to mention or we need to have all the points that uh, how map is working so that we can uh, you know develop the code for the polyfill. So basically, there are two points you have to keep in mind. So first is that that map also always returns a new array that's the first point and the second point is like there is a logic of for loop inside a map it iterate over each element but the difference from the filter is that it doesn't check for a condition mm -hmm. so if i implement a map so there is an array so what we need to do is like uh, we have to you know multiply each element with the two so for that purpose we can make the use of map like array dot map array dot map Okay, it will take a value. Okay, and the value multiply by two. Okay, so you can see the result in the window. So first is two four five, and the second return is four eight and ten. Yeah, like as Nishan has mentioned that this is how the map method will work. And apart from this, if we can talk about the callback method, uh, we definitely receive the element or the value of that particular index. And apart from that, if I can add something over here, is that uh, you know we receive the index of that particular uh, value and the complete array over here now we can simply move on to the polyfill code of uh, you know this array dot map right yeah sure so for that purpose in the same way we have added to the array the prototype in the previous video uh, so guys if you haven't seen the video of filter so please do watch it so you know you get the basic knowledge of what we are going to do in the same way we also receive a callback in that case the first point i have told you that uh, map always return a new array for, so for that purpose i am taking like array the second point is there is a logic of for loop inside a map so for that purpose i am in defining a for loop and you are also thinking about how we are going to take the length so we will take the help of this which will refer to this particular array in which we are providing so this dot length and the second thing is that uh, in case of a filter, we will always check for a condition, but that's not applied to map. So it directly, you know, pushes the element to the new array. So we will going to push the callback, and in the callback, we have to provide like first of all the value, this of at the i index. The second is the index, okay, and third is the complete array. And in the last, we will you know return our new array. Okay, so that how simple the polyfill of map. Okay, so just for the simplicity or the, for the clarity, what I can do, I can name it as my map method. Okay. Yeah. So that it is clear to us that the our uh, you know the polyfill code that we just created is working absolutely fine or not. So I have applied uh, you know the same thing uh, to array, and now we can check with the console. Yeah, if that uh, data is working fine or not for array three as well. Yeah. So here you can see with the same or with the exact condition, the result is same. And now just for the cross checking, I can check. Yeah. So here you can see with the different condition as well, it is working absolutely fine. And that's how we have implemented the polyfill code for, uh, you know, map method. Okay. So if I just wanted to conclude uh, this, uh, you know, polyfill of map, uh, the very first thing that we have done is we just, uh, you know, mentioned the points. Then after while, uh, you know, defining the code for the polyfill, we just went through those points and uh, then done, done the same thing. And here you can see that uh, we have created a new array as we know that map is returning a new array. And then after we have applied a for loop and the for loop is very similar, which is starting from the zero. The tricky part, uh, which is again about getting the length of the array so that we can uh, get from the this, uh, you know, this reference. This is referencing to the array on which this particular map method is being applied and uh, yeah like uh, and uh, as we know that it is returning a new array so we are just pushing the new elements into the new array and how we are pushing the new elements that logic al already you know reside inside the callback method that whatever this callback method is returning that value will be pushed to the new array and that's how we are re receiving this array 3 and now i believe with all these things now you are pretty much clear with the you know uh, polyfill that what is polyfill 
why we are assigning it to the prototype of the array and how this callback thing is working how we are getting the length of that particular array and how we are accessing the elements of the array so yeah that's it for polyfill method of map in the next video we will be covering the you know the polyfill of reduce there's only one thing if you mm -hmm. find this video you know valuable so you can you know share it so most of the guy can take most out of it so i believe that you are now clear with the polyfill method of my map in case like you have liked this video or you have understood that how we can implement the polyfill please consider liking this video and in case you want anything or you uh, you are having confusion with anything you can let us know in the comments we will definitely respond on that till then thank you for watching this video guys thank you very much mm -hmm.